Good day everyone, here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Simplify 3 raised to square root of logarithm of 7 to the base of 3 minus 7 raised to square root of logarithm of 3 to the base of 7. Now here's our choices. Letter A 0, letter B 1, letter C 3, and letter D 7. Now, if you want to try this problem, you can pause this video. You have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now, let's answer this question together. Our goal is to simplify this expression. 3 raised to square root of logarithm of 7 to the base of 3 minus 7 raised to square root of logarithm of 3 to the base of 7. Now, how are we going to answer this question? One way to answer this question is realize that if we have logarithm of a to the base of b, it is equivalent to 1 over logarithm of b to the base of a. Therefore, this logarithm of 3 to the base of 7 can be written as 1 over logarithm of 7 to the base of 3. Now, we have common term logarithm of 7 to the base of 3, so we can replace this with another variable. We call this as n. So, let n equals logarithm of 7 to the base of 3. Therefore, those expression can be replaced with variable n. Thus, our expression becomes 3 raised to square root of n minus 7 raised to square root of 1 over n. Now, at this point, take note that if we have a logarithm equation p equals logarithm of a to the base of b, this can be written in an exponential form. So, this can be written as a equals b raised to p. Therefore, n equals logarithm of 7 to the base of 3 can be written as 7 equals 3 raised to n. Now, we know that 7 equals 3 raised to n. We have 7 right here, so we can replace this 7 with 3 raised to n. Now, at this point, we can rewrite this n as square root of n squared. This is just still n. Now, again, recall that if we have square root of a times square root of b, this is equivalent to square root of a times b. Now, if we simplify this expression, we need to multiply the exponent. Thus, the second expression can be written as 3 raised to square root of n squared times 1 over n. Now, n squared times 1 over n is just n. Now, we have 3 raised to square root of n minus 3 raised to square root of n, and this is definitely equal to 0. Therefore, the answer to this question must be letter A, 0. And as always, we are done.